degrees. This is all too much. All of it is all too much. Okay. There's this breakup. Um, with this person who is really trying to, to play hard to get here. Um, it's too much. Listen, they miss you. Okay. Let me just come off and just tell you this. They miss you. All right. Um, but I can see where you're gathering information about people, places, and things that this person takes advantage of. Okay. Um, that they, you know, really, really, they got shiny object syndrome, y'all. So I do feel like you're telling a lot to other people, maybe too much about the situation, um, all at once. I feel like you need to like chill and listen a little bit more. Okay. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, and that's for some of you guys, for some of you guys, it's too much work. Okay. Um, I feel like you're getting out here. You're really involved in work. You're kind of diving in work, not to feel this pain here. Okay. Um, you need to understand there's no changing them. It really is not. Um, you guys, this person is, has, first of all, is crazy obsessed in stalking either their ex. Hold on one second, you guys. Um, this person is either crazy obsessed in stalking their ex or their ex is stalking them one or the other, whatever the case may be Aries, your person is, they're confused. Okay. You guys, they're confused and they're misinformed. Now, does this have something to do with the addictions that they have? The drug addictions, the sex addictions, or the alcohol addictions are just addicted to, you know, shiny object syndrome. Possibly. Does it have something to do with this crazy obsessed stalker that either they're stalking or stalking them? Possibly. Okay. Um, I don't have much energy out here, but we're going to roll with it. Okay. Um, but yes, as I spoke about addiction, they damn sure do have them. All right. So they're obsessed. Okay. They're obsessed either with third party situations. They're obsessed with, uh, sex. Uh, for some of you guys, they have our addiction there. They have addiction and obsessed towards, uh, drugs and alcohol, maybe all of the above. All right. Um, they're playing hard to get right now, Aries. Okay. They're uh, missing a lot of opportunities as a matter of fact, um, uh, because they are playing hard to get. They have a lot of past trauma and I think thus the addictions. All right. They do have a lot of past trauma, which is coming up in their energy. And with this card hurt, I feel like hurt people hurt people. You guys, some people, some hurt people hurt people. And that is exactly what they're doing because you're, you're, you're urged that this is a warning to stay away from this person or at least to give them some type of space. All right. Because they're really in destructive mode right now. Yes. They do look at somebody as a bright opportunity. Yes. They have had a third party situation. Yes. They still are dealing with this individual. Um, but you need to understand that this person still is coming up as having a lack of conscious. Your person is coming up manipulative, coming up strategic involving themselves in risky behavior definitely lying calculating and cunning at the same time your person is showing up as possibly an enemy very very sneaky though okay um full of trickery and deceitfulness okay obscurity is what they like to cast over um situations people and places okay they don't want anybody to see the truth i feel like you're finding out a lot about this here breakup i feel like you miss them for some of you guys that will be true um and that you don't know that they miss you because of their behavior okay um but nonetheless they they are uh you are finding out more information this is overwhelming you guys this is sadness here that you're finding out all right um possibly um making an indecision possibly um cutting through the illusions and the delusions but definitely finding out and getting to the truth of their multiple possibilities that they have been definitely taking advantage of okay so let me go ahead and glean i'm going to glean some information here just so that i can um see what's going on in this energy but i do see the breakup okay you guys and if you guys haven't broke up yet then you, you're sure on your way okay but it feels like somebody's already broken up to me i feel like you guys know that this is sabotage i feel like you want a reunion okay You've been throwing yourself in work. You've been talking to a lot of people. Aries, be careful who you talk to, okay? Because they're not necessarily trustworthy, all right? That is for who it applies. I do feel like you guys are really, really setting intentions. I feel like some of you guys really is getting into self-love and or creation, but definitely setting intentions, okay? Can we involve more of this, yeah? Because you want some, you want an apology. For some of you guys, you want an apology. There's no changing them, Aries. I do feel like some of you guys thought that you could change this person. Or vice versa. Maybe they thought they can change you. Cycles is here. Completion is here. Change is here. But I don't think it's changing that person. I think maybe you're thinking or know that you can't change this person. Maybe you're changing your ideas about changing them. 
definitely want to talk to this person. I feel like you want to talk to this person or this person is giving you messages. Maybe you're dreaming a lot about this person. Maybe you feel, even though you're limited, I feel like maybe you're getting information about these fears that you possibly have regarding their behavior. When it comes down to, you know, you finding out some information here, this is definitely uh, causing some uh, anguish. You're clinging on to this union. A lot of you guys are. Even with the information that you're finding out about these people, places, and things. Tell me about the people, places, and things. Yeah, this person doesn't have any lack or doubt. They're very confident when it comes down to these people, places, and things, you guys. Because they're, they, they're, they're confused and misinformed, and misinformed. They're full of addictions, you guys. Like I said, sex addiction, drug addiction, all that. That is what this person is fulfilled by, all right? This sex addiction that they have, this drug addiction or this alcohol addiction or this street problem addiction that they have, okay? This is what gives them fulfillment in their self-worth, all right? They like to be in la-la land. They're hard to get. It's hard to get through to them for some of you guys. They have completely um, disrupted st uh, stability, harmony, and flow. They got past trauma, y'all. They, they really just do. It came up in the energy, but they do have past trauma. Maybe you know this, and maybe this has been a reason why um, possibly somebody has turned a blind eye. Possibly somebody wants to fix this. Possibly thinking that this person can change, all right? Because of the fact that, you know, they have these past traumas, okay? Um, mother issues, father issues, juvenile, growing up in juvenile detention, uh, orphanage for some of them. Um, but somebody definitely did want to form a solid foundation with this individual. They wanted somebody wanted to show this person that family can be solid. All right. That there is a situation here to whereas, you know, if just because you've been let down in the past, I want to show you a different side. OK. And honestly, they have taken that and they've done the absolute positive most with it. They've hurt somebody here. They're avoiding for the ones that is in pain. They're avoiding this pain. All right. Maybe this is the reason why they run to their addictions. But there's a warning here. Oh, okay. So one, one warning is, is you definitely do need to get an STD test because this person is out with different people, places and things. They like third party situations. They like threesomes. Um, this person is very risky, you guys. So the reason why I say it's a warning, I feel, or something may happen at a party or some type of external event. Right. Because this person likes to put on for the city, you guys. It's, they, nobody knows this person for real. They go out there and act like they're this, that, and the third. They act like they got money and all some other type of stuff, okay? But it's, things are about to start coming back and biting them, all right? It is about to be winter all the time in their life here pretty soon, shortly. But yes, they, they definitely do like money. They Somebody's younger than somebody here when it comes down to this third-party situation. There is an unexpected storm when it comes down to this unity here, this strong bond, this partnership that they have formed with somebody else, this choice that they've made, this so-called solid beginnings, which really is not solid at all. As you see, this is a storm, okay? Um, but yeah, it has everything to do with money, potential. They thought this was a real prospect. One of them are, is younger than the other. Um, the Holy Spirit, tell me more about this. And then let's move on to this. They want to live high on the hog, you guys. They want to live high on the, They want to live life the way they want to. Tell me about the star party situation. We got another storm. We got a detail. We got to listen. This is not going to work. Okay. Listen, there's divine intervention, detour, and also freedom is here to be had. So this little third party situation, um, listen, it's not going to work. Maybe that is when the third party becomes crazy, obsessed stalker, but there's a liar, still a killer, cheater, thief, fake phony here. This person may possibly need some nurturing or is getting nurtured by this person here. Maybe doing drugs with this person. Definitely. This person is accepting this liar, stealer, killer, cheater, thief, fake, phony, um, lack of conscience, strategic uh, individual. They're accepting them, okay? Um, this person has effectively um, gotten dead. This is, somebody has effectively got debt, contracts, career, or commitment has been affected. Family, home, and or commitment has been affected. So commitment definitely um, for some of you guys, because of their lack of conscience, manipulativeness, strategic lies, risky behavior, scheming, theft, cunning, and deceitful, sneaky self has definitely put somebody in some serious ass emotions here. So what deck do I want? Okay, I'll use this one. Aries. 
Much love, much respect, you guys. Thank you so much for still being here with me. I love you guys dearly. Shout out to my day one. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to my train to go members. Um, VIPs, I love you guys so much. You guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, also, my train to go members, that's my sisterhood, you guys. Join the sisterhood. Listen, it is so much more easily accessed to me. And you don't have to be a, a female to join um, the, uh, you know, the train to go, okay? It is a sisterhood. We call it a sisterhood, but it could be a brotherhood too. And um, you are more than welcome, all right? Um, if you guys are not interested in joining as far as the promos and the perks is concerned and you just want to support what we're doing. Okay. Um, that we really appreciate your support. We love uh, you guys. Okay. Um, Aries, I've already prayed over these clarifiers in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy spirit. I ask for truth, revelation, confirmation, guidance, consolation, peace, and protection. As I give Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Messiah, all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Um, and also you guys remember for what every 100 new subscribers, somebody will get a free read. Stay tuned because I want to be giving you guys a little bit of directions if you guys want to be taking part in the free read okay so they miss you aries okay yes they're guilty of sabotaging this union i feel like you've been talking to too many people who are not really for you here okay so be careful who you who who you confide in is what i'm trying to say all right but there is a reunion on the horizon or somebody just wants a reunion with this individual virgo taurus capricorn is here Cancer Pisces Scorpio is here. Listen, they're giving their love away to somebody, okay? So either you're dealing with a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio or you're dealing with a, a, a um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Possibly give me uh, more. Somebody doesn't want somebody here anymore, okay? Somebody's reluctant. Somebody's ha unhappy. Maybe it's that somebody's unhappy with the situation, this third party situation. Somebody definitely want to change them. This person has walls up, you guys. They have walls up. They're wounded. They have past trauma, setback, guarded. I've, so for some of them, they use it, okay? But nonetheless, our uh, jail hospital is here. They may not be feeling good. Get yourself checked out. This nine of wands has caused limitations, okay? Somebody's in a self-imposed prison. Somebody wants this person very bad. They're full of anxiousness, anxiety, powerlessness, helplessness, and they feel out of control about the situation or these limitations. Definitely fear is here, all right? There you go, Aries. I feel like maybe you got you got chaotic at one particular time. Fiery passion is definitely here. Maybe a little bit heated when it comes down to this love. For some of you guys, you guys are married to this person. This is your husband. This is your wife, baby mom, baby dad. Um, this is twin flame soulmate connection. Possibly you relocated with this individual. Tell me about the information that was found out. Somebody left. You left. They left. I feel like they left you, Aries. I feel like they walked away. Possibly you did. All right. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. Somebody definitely left. They thought that the grass was greener on the other side. This has definitely caused you to have an emotional funeral. When you have found out, definitely a loss. Definitely a grief. Okay. When you found out about this. All right. I really feel like some of you guys were overwhelmed. I feel like you know about these opportunities that they've indulged in. Their recklessness. Wow. This person is damn sure reckless, you guys. This is a reckless ass individual, fearless in their toxicity, very, very roguish. Okay, you guys, this person is damn sure in and out. Okay, damn sure it feels like they can come back when they want to. Um, they're adventurous. They don't listen to shit, you guys. They don't really care about this reunion. They don't really care about doing what they need to do for you not to be unhappy because this person really goes to the beat of their own drums. It's all about what benefits them. Okay, that's what it's about. And these addictions that they have is what one of the things that definitely does benefit them. Down at the bottom, they they have to be, um, you know, they're going to have to be concerned about a storm here. Tell me about this addiction, Holy Spirit. For your sons and your daughters. Going through money like crazy. They are passionate about this, you guys. This addiction, this third party situation, they're in love with it. I told you. Yeah, Seven of Swords. They're in love. With lying, stealing, killing, cheating, being fake, and being phony. And also being around fake and phony individuals. They're in love with that. Okay? Um, yes. So, and it's to avoid pain. All right, you guys? Because like I said, hurt people hurt people. Some hurt people hurt people. But um, they tried their hardest to avoid this here pain. Right. So, they use love to do it. Okay? For some, some of you guys. Or they use their passion to do it. But right now, this is a third-party situation that they're damn sure, you know, going towards. They're going in the direction of. Give me more. They feel like they're winning. Mm, wait a minute. Oh. So, they feel like they're winning. 
They may have met somebody online at a distance. Recovery, relocation. They may be shacking up with this person. Different backgrounds, perhaps. Baby mom, baby dad, different um, in different states. Or somebody is not from somebody where somebody is originally at. Okay, listen, you guys, this shit is coming to an end. All right, whoever this person is. Right. They're thinking about what to do to move forward at this point in the game. This is that crazy obsessed stalker. If you guys are interested in this deck, this is my deck. Okay, you guys, it is Sip with Nikki on Situations. And um, if you guys are interested, please contact my email, okay? Um, yeah, they're thinking about what to do, how to move forward. It's coming to an end. The situation they got with this third party. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Possibly somebody who has a family. Possibly their ex that they left alone. Possibly. Possibly somebody who they thought had money and really doesn't. Okay. Definitely is your husband, your wife. Okay. You need to be prepared for something and you need to be prepared for them coming in your direction. But it has this money motivated. You need to understand that. Okay. But they damn sure are going to be walking in. Yeah, they're going to walk in your direction because nothing is shaking right now. Nothing is working out for them. They're in stagnation, stagnation and limbo. They may run to more drugs, possibly. It's, you know, tell me about the past trauma. It's very much so present. Whatever this thing is, whatever this abuse, it might have been SA when they, you know, it might have been domestic violence. Maybe they may have seen some abuse growing up, okay? Um, but this is their reasoning, okay? This is what they. It's, it's with them all the time, all right? It's almost like they're wounded behind what happened. Who wouldn't be? But they need to go get some um, definitely family re related. I feel like some of them feel like they can't go home to their family. Maybe a lot of family problems, all right? But they need to go have some, they need to go talk to somebody because this here wearing a mask. Hold on, let me see something. This here wearing a mask, these here third party situations, threesomes, trying to uh, be somebody who they're not. This is about to come back and bite them. What is this? Right. See, they're going to get into it out here with somebody. Intimidation, bullying, hostility. They're going to get into a fight with somebody or you got into a fight with them. But it feels to me like they're going to be getting into a fight with this party, this external events. Maybe with more than one person. Right. And they're going to have to be thinking five, seven. Right. So because with they sneaky lying ass, they're hanging around other sneaky lying ass people, too. OK. We'll go around, come around. So tell me about this storm. Holy Spirit. They're going to have a difficult decision to make. How they're going to handle this situation. They want to handle it in a civil way or just walk away. But it's damn sure hostility here. Ooh. Told you I was going to see the Eight of Swords. This person is in a self-imposed prison, you guys. I told you. This abuse, whatever this past trauma is, has them victimized. Has them in an eternal prison, okay? They're full of fear. They're full of anxiousness, anxiety, powerlessness, and helplessness. Something happened to them when they were a child, okay? And they're still in this prison, you guys. But what is this storm? Because what it feels like is they're about to be right back in this prison for, uh, for something else, though. So they're going to have way more fear than they, they started with here, okay? And they did start off with some serious fear. Something's going to blindside them. Jail, hospital, so illness here or some type of legal problems. They're wounded. They're going to be wounded, set back and guarded. Right. They're going to be coming back around here, you guys, when the storm hits. They're going to be coming back around, you guys. You need to be on the lookout for this. Yes, they had a third party situation, but something happened here. This person is just as cunning and conniving as they are. Vice versa, puzzle pieces. Uh, you guys, remember that. Anytime you get a general read from me, it is always puzzle pieces. This is a brand new deck, so. Right, we got the lovers on the lovers. So this person has been doing this. This person has fetishes as well, okay, you guys? Um, this person knows better, period, okay? This person knows better than to do what they've been doing. But they just want to be out here like this. They're very spontaneous, you guys, extremely. Right. See, they know better because this has done nothing but cause burdens. It's caused stress. Okay. It, it's caused weight that they don't really need. Really, for real. 
Um, if you guys are still here with me, Aries, please give me a blue heart, a blue heart. That's going to do two things. One is going to let me know that you're still with me and you're engaging in the channel. And it's also going to let me know that you are interested in a free read. Okay. Um, the more I see you, the higher your chances are to win. If you are new or recent to the channel, you guys, first of all, welcome to the channel. I love that you guys are here. Know that I do have a hands-on relationship with a lot of my subscribers. Let themselves be known to me. Would absolutely positively love to have the same relationship with you. Go down in the comments. Let me know that you're new. That way um, I can give you a warm welcome that you deserve. If you guys are um in the shadows and you guys been in the um been watching haven't let me know come out the shadows y'all come let me know that you're new okay let me know that you've been here all right um i love when you guys do that as well but yeah blue blue heart okay and also pay attention to the uh um uh, community page i will be letting you guys know because honestly i've been letting you guys know through your um comments at the bottom but what i'm going to do is start posting beginning of the month community page for the freebie winners all right so um pay attention to that and i will also make announcements as well all right and remember puzzle pieces okay you guys all right relocation moving is here this person may not be from where you're originally from you've been finding out information about this person listen they're going to want to come back all right they're they're going to want to come back for something possibly because you're um, familiar to them possibly because of the money possibly because of court or some type of karma what is this but they're going to be coming back here they're going to be coming back with these um these these um past traumas too. You need to understand that though. Yeah. Definitely want some money. Definitely holding secrets. Definitely people are involved here. They definitely do got a crazy obsessed person that's on them. Okay? So several people involved in that energy, you guys. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tell you guys who's here. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to give you some some time frames. I'm going to give you guys some initials and I'm going to tell you guys who's here and then we're going to close out, okay? So, we do got the month of January. April, May, and the day before a birthday. The day before a birthday. They may be relevant. Anybody's birthday. Doesn't matter. Could be even holiday. Um, but January, April, May. Day before birthday. Up underneath the deck is February. Okay? Um, the letter R is here twice. The letter H is here twice. The letter V. The letter I. The letter Z. The letter Y. F, L, J, and O is here. Okay? Letter R twice h twice v i z y f l j and o okay so let me tell you guys who's here and we'll close out taurus is here libra is here they are going to become wanting to come back around it's going to be some arguments and fights though regarding this person this person won't let them go or they won't let them let or that or they won't let the third party go. But this has been a lot of problems here. Gemini is here. Um, Pisces is here. There's too much problems here. And yeah, they got past trauma. Sagittarius is here. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Be on the lookout, you guys. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Scorpio is here. Yeah, that little love situation. They're going to find themselves hurt. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Cancel Pisces Scorpio. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Scorpio. Somebody left. Somebody really, really wanted this relationship. Uh, very, very sad at the information that they found out. Libra Gemini Aquarius. Gemini. Yep. So this is what I have for you. Hopefully I was able to put that one piece together for you. If I was, that means I've definitely done my job. Aries, cross watcher. Much love.